Hi everyone, we are here in Kukonstad today to start our training for Champions of the Future and the European Championship. But first, I want to introduce to you a really talented micro driver here in Sweden who's one of my biggest fans. His name is Elias Stravi. Redo på start, Elias Ströby i pole position. Ströby kommer iväg bra. Unfortunately, Elias got some really bad news last week where he found out he had cancer and he has to undergo emergency chemotherapy to try to stop the cancer before they can operate on it. These were things that we wish never happened, but unfortunately they do. Elias, always remember that everyone here is pulling for you. So stay strong and remember that this race is never over until the checkered flag falls. So keep pushing, keep fighting, let's go. And we're not the only ones. The whole Karna community is sending you messages of support. And here are just a few of them. Hey Elias, we are here at Karna Strikmans Bana and work today. We're going to grab a new swing and we have a gang here who wants to send a hand to you. Keep on fighting Elias! Hey Elias, here comes a helping from Visby. We hope that we will see you on the next one. Keep fighting, Elias! Hi Elias, here we are in Kronstadt. We are also for you to stay strong. Keep fighting, Elias! So the Thursday before I went to Vekwa, it was the last day of school, so we had a big ceremony and I was representing my English class as the speaker, so I was saying like all the songs you were going to do and everything. But then unfortunately it started pouring rain, so we had to cut it off short and we were doing it outside. So. That was really unfortunate. So what we did when we arrived on the track on Thursday was we set up the tent, um, got ready to drive and met up with the team, but we didn't actually do any runs or training that day. You walk through, it just looks like you're right. It's kind of a little chill. Yeah, it doesn't look that great. Oh my god. But when you walk through here, it's Holy huge. Holy crap. This, isn't this awesome? What? I told you it's crazy. This is amazingly big. I know, right? Wow. Like, this is like our living room. <laughs> it's like, <a laughs> it's living room. like an apartment, dude. Look, you have your bedroom, living room, you've got a kitchenette over there. Because of you. So the first step is making my quadruple pancake. Because when you talk, on this side, you have to make a cut from the middle out to the right so it can fold like this. Then, your digestive cookie. Put it on the 
top right corner. Then you're going to take your croissant, go back to the table, then you take the chart and you just crush it. And then, <clears throat> then bite the nubs off. <laughs> Put that on there. And then, pull this one over like this. Pull this one on top of this. And then finally, pull this. <laughs> On top of this. <laughs> and it worked. And it went into that. Digestive cookie, Nutella, and croissant. Wow. <laughs> Is it good? Mm. And fish made <laughs> Did you sleep anything? No. All right. You can rest for 10 more minutes, okay? So the reason that I only drove one category in Becca was because the organizers decided to change the format from two day to one day race. So I mean that that, that X30 and Oakley Green race on the same day. You can't race two classes on the same day. So the reason I chose X30 was because you could only take away one race in the championship that you did bad on. And I already had a bad result in Kukonstad from getting two ends of failures and not even making the final. So I knew that I had to choose X30 to keep lead in the championship. Let's go, yeah. Well, let's see how those push. It's better not to push too much and then let off a bit, okay? Then you push to less. Yeah? And tight for the whole uh, left one. Also, the defense is very Good job, let's go.
went really good in the beginning. I started finding some pace, just started getting used to the track. And then later, I started pushing, and um, it started going really good. By the end of the day, I was fastest. So I'm really happy, and uh, I'm really, really excited for the race so before the race told me that I had to keep everything slow and organized in the formation lap because there's a very short run up to the straight on this track so I had to keep everybody collected and organized and slow in the formation lap. from Hairston Boy to carrying on to Vecra was I was more calm starting in pole position and I could get away with the starts and just overall do the starts better like defending in the starts, getting away in the starts and overall being more calm while I'm in first place.
Je vais vous dire un peu de temps. Je vais vous dire to pull away as much in the SP as I was in the qualifying heats and Lance Roman was keeping pretty good pace with me but I still had a pretty good a half a second gap and it was a pretty comfortable gap so I didn't really feel that he could make an attack from there so I never really felt the need to defend. We knew even before the Super Heat that there was going to be a big rainstorm for the final because everyone was checking the cloud radar and saw that there was a huge cloud coming straight for us right when the final started. Oh 
So to get ready for it, me and Alex and Lansford did some coaching on the track and learned the wet lines and everything like that. So then we were ready to go. So turn, turn, turn. So that you get straight exit. And never push the gas unless you're steering really straight. Turn, rotate, gas. Break, 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 so that you from the white line all the way here, so that you can get the key of this. Okay? Because you need to have a very good line. This is the second to last one. Yes? Yes? yes. his coaching in the wet was that he just told us the wet lines specific to the track, the gassing and braking, but the most challenging thing was that I'd never driven in the wet on that track before, so it was really hard applying the instructions and stuff like that, but fortunately I pulled through and I won and I'm really happy with my performance.
Because the last time they came, they met they met us in Kronstadt, where it did not go well at all. So it was really exciting to share this win with them in the tent, and I think they were really happy with me. And um, it was really awesome. They made great watches. So today was like most one of the most satisfying ones I've ever had in my entire life. And uh, yeah, there's more to come. So the biggest takeaway from this win in Vecqua was that um, now I know that I can win and be fastest in any conditions and not just in the dry. So it's going to give me a lot more confidence going into more races. The entirety of 80 Motorsport, but especially my mechanic Hugo and the team bosses Alex and Kevin. I also really want to thank my sponsors, Brimbez, Sever, Cassie Autonomy, and Racing Time. Victory shower, kid. Yeah. You look awesome. Yeah, I got this road trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, P1. P1. Kevin? <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was awesome. That was good. It was like a. Oh, it's got a What is that thing? It's a you love this video. I want to dedicate this episode and my win in Vecqua to you and hopefully it will give you some motivation to keep fighting the good fight. Yeah! Keep on fighting, Elias! Woo!